78% of the American people hate their jobs. Now think about that. I mean, that must be so depressing that you go, let's say you're working in some car plant and you do like, you know, kind of the same work, putting a window into a car. Over and over, you know, 50 times a day, every day, all year long, for 30 years. I mean, it, it's tough. Mm. And so this is why it's so important that we really have a clear vision so that you know where to go and that wherever it is, mm -hmm. if it is to become a great auto mechanic or if it is to become a great teacher or a politician or a high tech engineer, whatever it is, but have a vision and then you go after that and you shoot for that because now every step of the way is going to be great. Mm. You got to have a very clear vision of where you want to go. Because if you don't have that, you're just floating around. Mm. And so, you know, I was very fortunate that I created that vision. I was very fortunate that there was not the side kind of things going on. We didn't have a phone in our house. We didn't have a television in our house. Oh, at that time, there were no iPhones, there were no iPads, there was no computer. There was just really, you had all the time in the world to think mm. and to really just sit quietly and to just visualize. Mm. And uh, I always say that I feel sorry for kids today that are spending hours and hours on that iPhone or an, I an iPad or a computer and they don't give themselves that chance to just settle back and to just figure out what do they want to do or who do they want to be. Mm. You can have the best airplane in the world uh, with the most advanced pilot. But if he doesn't know, know where to go, he's just going to fly around until he crashes. Mm. And that's what happens to you in life. If you don't know where you want to go and who you want to be, you eventually just float around and you eventually crash. And uh, that's why a lot of people are unhappy. Yeah. Or they take drugs, or they drink, or the suicide rates. I think a lot of it has to do because people really don't have as much of a purpose and the mission and the vision and all of the things. The things that drove me from the time I was like 15 years old, it was very clear which direction I want to go. The only way really was in order to be happy is to create my own world mm -hmm. and to visualize, mm -hmm. work your ass off. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> every single time when I had a vision about anything, yeah. I had to work my ass off. But it was pleasure. See, that is the great thing. When you go to work and you know exactly why you're working, mm. then it becomes fun. Mm -hmm. you know, when, when you pick a, a doctor, let's yeah. say, you, I want to be a, a doctor. I want to be a surgeon. A kid says to himself at the age of 15, well, from that point on, he knows yeah. all the classes he has to take already in high school. And then when he goes to college, he knows which university to go, what kind of classes is to take, and then how long would it take him, and all of this stuff. So there is a reason for going to school rather than, oh, my parents told me that I have to go to college, and you just go to fulfill this obligation, but there's no goal. Yeah. And that's what happens to the majority of, of kids today. They don't have the goal. And that's why they end up being one of the 78% that are unhappy with their jobs and they wish they could change jobs, but, but then it's too late because now you've created a family and you have to pay for, you know, your rent for the apartment and you have to put food on the table. You have to provide money for the kids and for your wife and for the family and all this stuff. So it's really tough. So that's why so many people are really always looking for an answer or searching for an answer. How can I improve my life? How can I make it a little bit better and all this stuff? And for everyone who's listening and watching, a lot of people will say, I do work hard. I'm working my ass off, I'm working my socks off. I'm like doing everything I can. But I think what's really important is that it start with have a clear vision. Yeah. And I agree, I think there are a lot of people who are working really, really hard. And it's almost like if that hard work was channeled toward a clear vision, as you say, then that hard work pays off. Right. Because otherwise, a lot of people just working hard, getting stressed, putting on pressure, but there, there isn't that vision. Is it really a sacrifice? 
To me, it's also a real question is the word discipline. Mm. Because I tell you, I felt many times that I'm not a disciplined person. Mm. 